Hi guys, me again, the Hima Reviews Guy. Today, I will be bringing you a review of the Siggy Standard Fitted. Now, before I get into it, there are a couple of things that I feel I must disclose. First off, I have known about Martin Fagan for a very, very long time, uh, basically a few months after I started training, and I have met him um, maybe a year afterwards, and we have since become friends. Um, so keep that in mind. I have gotten the sword for free for review purposes. Um, however, I think the main issue here is that I think very, very highly of Martin Fabian, uh, and that might actually color this uh, review a little bit. So keep that in mind. Always try and find other reviews as well. Use the sword for yourself if you have the option. Uh, I will not hold back on any bad experiences I have had with the sword uh, and will still try to be as unbiased as possible. So, let's get into this. The Siki Fitter is probably the first fitter that I think is aiming for a paradigm shift in the way Hima functions. This is basically a tournament sword and it is extremely safe and extremely fast in, in the execution of techniques. Now, here are the specs, uh, make sure to check them out. I won't be reading them out for you because that's kind of boring. I will just talk about what they actually mean. So, the weight is quite heavy. However, because the point of balance is so very far back, this sword feels lighter than it is. The strikes are fast, the, uh, especially when you want to transition from one strike to the other, it is extremely quick and the weight still gives you a very good defense. Now, because it is also very, very, very flexible, so here, uh, the bind is a mixed bag. If you bind properly, so if you bind with the stark, so with the strong part of the blade, absolutely no problems, it's great in the bind. However, when you get to the point, it is a little bit wobbly because of the flex. Uh, the safety is absolutely phenomenal. The point is both widened, so spatulated, and thickened. Uh, this is the only issue I have, which is that the cross guards are a little bit spiky, so it might be a problem in Ringen am Schwer. The cross guard is completely fine. It's not the best. It doesn't have button ends. Uh, the edges aren't really all that rounded, but it is good enough. The pommel is quite standard, so a standard send stopper pommel. Now, more about the handling. Uh, very fast, very, very safe. This is the first, first sword I actually feel comfortable striking with close to full force and, of course, full speed as well. Uh, and that is because the point of balance is so far back, most of the mass isn't forward, and the flex is just amazing. So it has a lot of flex that takes out a lot of the force of the blow. Uh, and it just feels so good being able to really go full out with opponents you trust without being afraid of hurting them. So I love this sword for that. Uh, I have had it bent a couple of times and uh, straightening it was no problem. It is made of a high quality steel. I think it's 6150 or maybe it's 5160. I will check that. Uh, and it can take being bent back. Of course, it won't last forever, but it's meant to be a workhorse and a tournament sword, so you can't be expecting that. Now, the issue I have actually had with this sword is because everything is meant for safety and speed, it goes a little bit against the style that I was used to. So I liked swords that had more, um, a more forward way distribution. So when you struck a blow, the point will actually be heavy enough to pull you after it. So that's what I mean when I say that I can feel where my point is, that the sword, that the blade has enough mass towards the front that even if I close my eyes, I can tell exactly where the point is because it pulls me ever so slightly forward. This sword doesn't have that. And uh, of course, that is one of the reasons that makes it so fast and so safe. So it's a very, very conscious decision. However, it messed up my style tremendously. And I have only just been able to really get a hold of the sword months later. It's a fantastic sword, and even when I wasn't sure I would be using it, and when I was switching to other swords, uh, I knew it was a one of the best swords on the market right now. I just thought maybe it wasn't for me. It seems that I have been proven wrong, that this is now my uh, workhorse of a sword, because I do actually like it best. Uh, I do still have some issues, because uh, I have to 
finish the strikes where before the sword would actually kind of finish the strike for me and if I pushed too much I would actually um, expose myself and with this one it's a little bit different so I do love it I absolutely love the sword but if you are used to a sword that has a more forward um, mass distribution such as let's say the Auros or the Naaman Galahad or Naaman Morkold you might have issues getting used to this sword. So be very, very wary of that. Of course, as always, if you possibly can, try the sword out before ordering it. However, I don't think anyone would regret ordering this sword. Now, aesthetic-wise, I think this is a very striking sword. It's quite pretty. Mine is obviously uh, quite beat up by now. Uh, you can recognize it anywhere, even if it's not this particular model. But the leather is pretty thin. Mine got beat up during, uh, of course, sparrings, but any leather handle will do that with enough sparrings. So I warmly recommend that you get the cord grip. Uh, but yes, that's it. So all in all, wonderful sword. First sword that actually tries something completely different, completely new in the longsword Hema sphere. And I think this is the way forward. I think this is the future for Hema because it is very durable, it is very safe, both for tournaments and heavy sparring, uh, and it just feels good to use. The downside is, if you are used to a different style of sword, it might take you a long while to get used to it. So, if you do have the sword, if you've been using the sword, please let me know, and others, of course, your experiences in the comment section. Um, tell me if you agree with this, and I hope you find this useful. Until next time, have a good one.